Hello, people. I'm back in the world of Ark Survival Evolved on my cluster series. All right, then. So we are on the Crystal Isles, and it's raining yet still. Uh, apparently, it's a, a bit of a bug on the Crystal Isles, so it just rains, like, all the time. Uh, I think it's just certain areas. Um, but, yeah, it just rains all the time, and the water is clear. Now, uh, that's a bug that's on this particular mod map, so I don't know if that's a thing that's going to be whatever. Right, so we are here. We made it. We're alive, sort of, kind of. Um, but I have two standard creatures. Now, this is a, a modded server, and there are creatures out there that are crazy powerful. So these guys, even though these are pretty high level, I mean, that's a max level RG, and it's imprinted as well, I think. I think Chicken did that. Yep, imprinted as well. And uh, yesterday, it was like literally three hits from uh, one of them uh, wyverns. One of them modded wyverns basically took that dad to like 1,900 elf. And like obviously killed me as well because it kills the rider. Huh. Right. So in order to compete with this environment, we need we need a modded creature. Now, I've already I've got a griffin. Uh, I suppose I could go tame one and gather all the stuff up there. But I mean... Uh, I don't know. I'm in, I'm in two minds. Uh, I want to explore this place because when it comes out officially, uh, we're going to do like a, a series with Syntax on the official one. Well, not the official, official one, but the official release one. So we're going to set up a server and have a few guys over there and uh, do like a little thing together. Um, so I want to kind of explore this one. Now, if I stay here and get teams and then go through that craziness, it's... Uh, I don't know where things spawn and all the things. Uh, so I think if I go over to the island, uh, go get my griffin, because that can literally, I can fly away from everything. And also it's well powerful. Huh. Right, you sausage. You need to take me to... Um, right, we've got a load of crystal here, isn't it? That, so that's not going to work either. Uh, gems. Tell you what, let's transfer everything. You, you just hold everything. Right. Uh, ooh, we're losing health as well. Uh, oh, that'll help a little bit. Right. Now, we need to find a drop so we can actually transfer... I don't want to be too crazy or go too far. Because you just don't know what's out there. Right, where are we on the map? Right, we're up this top corner. Right, I can see a green drop over there. Do we risk it and go for that green drop? Uh, let's have a little flap over there. Uh, we'll take some scenery in while we're going. See, this RG, I mean, if there's a dragon that pops up now, I keep saying dragon, um, but there are dragons on here as well. Uh, oh, ooh, something just popped up over there. Yeah, there are uh, dragons, wyverns, and uh, various different sizes. Uh, there's like elemental type things as well. And, oh, look, there's a modded creature there. Look, what is that? I don't know. If I go over to the island, I've got lots of resources over there. I could basically bring them back here and we could have a proper little explore. Uh, I've got an outpost there, a little outpost base. Oh, oh, everything's going crazy down below. I mean, I'm, it looks pretty cool around here already. Oh, at least we're not ice cube now, so we can gain some health. Uh, I know it's at night time and stuff, but I've got Gamma 4 on as well. Right, there is a purple drop awesome and i think i set it to modded drops on this one as well all right so i need to look for a place for a base i know i've got that little thing there but i needed to build something so if i died i got somewhere to spawn back to right is that is that coming down or is that down oh it's down might be Right, assess the situation first. Oh, the, oh, the brightness. Oh, my eyes. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, crap. Uh, uh. Right, 
Is there anything important in there? Because, like, obviously when I pick this up, it's just going to... Oh, yeah, let's... Uh... Yeah, we'll take the... Oh, I can't take the specimen. Uh, armor. There is. Um... Yeah, there's nothing else in there. Right. Because um, when I go back to the other world, I'm going to want to make some... Uh... I keep saying other world. Well, when I go over to the island, I'm going to want to make some... Armor. Some good modded armor. I think I've got everything. What, from diamonds? I don't know. Right. That's left everything there but that. Right. Watch this disappear on me now. Right. Travel to another server. Please, let's go. Uh, island. Join with survivor. Oh, uh, it's passworded. Uh, uh, eh, uh. Right, off we go, boys. See you in a bit. Right then, we are here. Uh, right, let's get some uh, OP armor. Let's get this done. I've got some stuff in here. Uh, I've got some more rough diamonds. Now, I put a forge down here. I've got a multi-forge out there as well. So that's that's crafting stuff up for me. Uh, so we should, hopefully, have enough. I'm, I'm not too sure about copper plates, though. Anyway, so armor... Uh, craft steampunk pants so each of these pants give you up oh, each of these pants each of these pieces of armor gives you a different type of buff uh, so that gives me uh, wait what does that give me provides heavy physical protection and makes elements easy to endure okay uh, okay Jim right so we've got pants uh, pull for one of them so as we transfer it, you'll see the it goes to a different one. So each time we craft these, it says armor 300. But if I put that there, so it says 364. So it's gone to a descendant one. Uh, makes elements easier to endure. Adds clear vision and oxygen underwater. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So that's that one. And gloves. Boom. Right, this one does uh, makes elements easy to endure, gives you slight damage resistance. Uh, I think, well, I think that they all do that anyway. Slight, I mean, look at this, it's all ascendant, um, but it necessarily doesn't come out as ascendant, it may come out as something else. Uh, wait, what boots? Um, right, I had some real OP boots, they was kind of glitched. Uh, I lost them, uh, I lost them during a transfer, I think. I mean, Jim, it was like the best boots ever. Uh, probably got enough for that. Oh, we need some more leather. Holy crap. Right, I might have to go get some more. Well, where's this leather station? It is a steam tannery. Uh huh. Right. Let's pull for a thousand of that. I think I'm going to have to get some more hide. Right, there we go. Um, requires coal to power. I've got some coal crafting up in here, I think. Yeah. Also already got some over here. So, I've still got some bits to do. Right. We'll chuck some coal in there. Uh, this is going to take its sweet time to... There we go. Right. Craft. Craft. So, it's not super, super fast. We'll get that going. Right, this is what we want. This, we'll take this little bird here. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, wait. Why have you got all colours on you all of a sudden? <laughs> Something's happened to you. Why? Huh. Yeah, heavenly ones are normally identified by the colour blue. I, I don't know what's happened. Well, obviously you're not blue. You've got a different colour to you. Right, yeah, has anything else changed about you? Uh, right, you've got stuff inside you as well. Okay. So all this stuff we can actually take across with us because it's the same... Uh, it's got the same mod on uh, the Crystal Isles as it was on this one. The only one that we 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 can't take the OP armour, the, the stuff that I'm wearing, uh, is Genesis. So Gen... What is this?
Uh, divine. You've just spawned in my base, haven't you, sausage? Oh, so the divines look. Yeah, there's something new about you. You've got different colours. Huh. I've not even noticed that. So, obviously, they've done an update to the mod. Um, it's still got its blue, but now it's got splashes of other colours in there as well. So, I can't. I don't want to anger you because you'll set me on fire. Uh, but, yeah. So, it's got splashes of other colour in there. That's kind of cool. And... Oh, you, you were just that anyway. Wait, what? Now, I'm sure I didn't have a pink one. There's something crazy going off with the colours on it. <laughs> Look at these. These wear these colours as well. What is going off? Look at this Ferox. Wait, let's backspace off. Something's crazy going on here. Somebody's been in a colour bar dinos. I think they have. Somebody's been in a colour bar dinos. God damn it. <laughs> There's me thinking it's the mod and it's not. I bet somebody's been in a colour bar dino. Look at this. Well, anyway, we'll, we'll soon find out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy out. I mean, nice. He's nice colour. I'm not going to lie. He's, he's pretty good. Uh, anyway. So I'm going to gather some more stuff up. And then we're going to go back over to the Crystal Isles. Uh, I'm, going to I'm not really going to take anything over there. Because I want to sort of kind of explore. Find a place that we can make a base. And then start again again i'm not going to build a massive base i'm just going to build a better base so we'll say better than the outpost that i've got now <laughs> right i'll wait for this other stuff to craft up and uh i'll take this sausage out and uh, yeah we'll see you in a bit right then uh, i'm all ready for my trip so it's daytime uh this bit let's have another close look at this because yeah i don't see that's a wild one so obviously nobody's colored that because you can't do that anyway so they've added a, a different splash of colour to it. But I don't know what's happening with these creatures. Like all my stuff. Like why, why are these dudes these colours? Uh, McGeegas as well. Look at the friggin' colours on there. They're like technically multicolour rainbow. Uh, look at you. They're all fancy. Right. Um, See, so we've got a lot of stuff in here we can probably get rid of. Right. We've got a Taming Elixir. Uh, now there. We've got a Journeyman Hatchet. Oh, we've got an ascendant actually so we could yeah i mean we could probably take all that because we can carry it all anyway let's just carry everything and sort it out we'll take everything on us it's not going to weigh anything and we'll get on you so i've got everything that i've got in the inventory that i'm going to take across um i don't know why a couple of salts we don't need that oh christ that uh, we can't take them bow um ooh. Rhino horn. I'm not sure about that. Wait, I will drop that anyway. Uh, steel, scrap metals, uh, element ore. I'm not sure that will transfer through the actual. So we can't transfer element. We could do the dust, but I'm not sure about element ore. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, dead pod. We'll get rid of that. Have we got a pod on us? Oh, yeah, we've got a Theracinus. Uh, divine. Theracinosaurus, level 800 and something. <laughs> wow. There we go. Uh, some darts, some trank darts. I've got... Uh, I've only got... I've only got primitive rifle for some reason. I, that, uh, I should really, like, look for... Well, we don't need that. Or that. Oh. Well, never mind. We can get that. That. Armor. Garbage. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of that. I mean this stuff though we've just been picking up like random stuff adult elixir taming elixir so if we knock a creature out we've got i've got five should be enough to get us started oh i picked that i've left that gas uh right i think that's it right let's have a little let's have a little explore around here now i think i've still got the easter event on which would mean that these dinos are going to be colored anyway oh that's a uh, now then, you're, you're angry at me, aren't you? Yeah, you're right. Let's just do the fire attack. Make sure you... Oh, God. Forgot about that. Grab it, Jim. Right, so we've... Uh, let's see if we did a fire attack. Never mind. I just want to see if there's any other... 
I mean, because this colour's not right. I don't know. If I pod it and then pop it out at the other end, it might come back over there. But, oh, oh, no, no. See, now this one. This is the colour that they're supposed to be. So that is the colour of them. It's uh, it's sort of a turquoise and white colour. It's kind of bizarre because some of these creatures, modded creature, like look at that modded creature there. He's a he's a simba a simba wacky. Is it called a simba wacky? I don't even know. Uh, divine. Yeah, look, there's another one. That's that's the colour that they should be. So my guy should have just them two colours there. But obviously it's not. Anyway, don't know what that is. Let's go back over to the Crystal Isles. I'll get this guy podded and we'll, we'll see where it pops out like. Right, see you in a bit. Right, guys, we are back in his little, his little hut. Uh, it's a bit sparse, but never mind. It's only like sort of a spawning area. I might put some uh, crafting bits and stuff down here. Anyway, we're back. It's daytime. It's still raining. Hello, sausage. Right, let's... Uh, Let's get this one out. Let's get the Heavenly Griffin out first because I'm not sure if... Ah, you see? Now the colour's all gone. That's what you're supposed to look like. I don't know what shenanigans were going off on the other island, but... Huh. Right then. So, we are sort of kind of OP, but don't get too complacent because there are things out there that will literally just knock you off your thing and then paralyse you and just slowly peck at you health until you disappear. Awesome. Right. So we've got a place to spawn. Um, I think Mew Tyrannus will be okay here. Now then, I did bring with me... Uh, I went back and got some... Um, I've only got 12. These ice slushes. Now, these give a speed boost to either you or any dino that you've got on. So this is going to be pretty good. Right, let's just get a little overview. Map. So we're there on the Crystal Isles. Ooh, it's very vertical. All right, so these are the canyons and stuff that we had to, like, traverse around, which was not full on foot, I can tell you. Uh, right, I'll tell you what. Let's put these on you, because they'll get a bigger life. Oh, holy crap, we bought a lot of meat and all for some reason. All right, what's the spoil time? Nine minutes and... Holy yeah, yeah, so you keep them on you. All right, we'll have a little buff on you. Now then, we should be able to fly a little bit faster. All right, let's have a, a scout round. So the water, as you can see, look, it's it's like crystal, crystal clear. I don't th I don't suppose it's supposed to be like that. We don't, hey, we're not supposed to see right down there, and it's not supposed to be raining. So there are two things that are kind of buggy on the. Uh, this uh, modern map anyway so they won't be like that on official but uh hmm, right then uh probably want to look for some drops as well just because oh hey what was it what was gonna attack are you sausage uh yeah we'll leave that all right let's pick a route let's go south so we want to be going that way. Oh, also, I've picked up my... Ha-ha! So we can see the wildlife and things. We know what's coming for us. All right, is it still... Is it still going to, like, be raining all the time? It's going to suck if it does that. Right, so this is a redwood area. Quite big as well, like, the area itself. Uh, let's just get a little bit... Oh, rain, please. Right, so that's the... Open, right, if we put H on, we can see. The Great Forest. So this is the Great Forest. Redwoods. Oh. I kind of want to find a good place to build a base. Uh. Oh, right. Let's avoid that, dude. Lock on, please. Lock on. Show me. What are you? Oh. oh god here we go right wow oh well, yeah we've got a map on oh god uh. that's what we gotta be careful of them stupid crazy wyverns now have you got your buff on you never seem to be flying as fast as you normally go right let's see it 
Oh, no, you still... Yeah, I've got it. I mean, these... These areas around here, these look kind of awesome. I mean, like... Lots of flat areas. I mean, we're not going to build a massive, massive base, but it would be nice to... To be in an area that's not, like, where we can't see... When we step out in the morning and... See this, like, whatever this is. <laughs> this helping on fire. <laughs> uh, what about you? All right. What time is it? Uh, 21. Oh, so it's coming up for night time. Damn it, Jim. All right, guys. So I'm probably going to wait till morning so we can explore a little bit more. I think because, like, we're coming up to night time and it's coming all dirty and horrible. Huh. All right. See you in a bit. Right then, so, it's a bit more brighter, it's still raining, uh, obviously because it's just not, never going to stop, and uh, we can't, we can't even stop it by admin commands as well, so that's not even a thing, it's, it's proper broken, uh, and this mod is probably never, never going to get fixed, uh, that's because the, uh, the mod dev has now transferred over to the official one, obviously, so this one gets uh, left in the wind, but never mind, we can still play on it, and, uh, yeah, I mean, we're never going to get thirsty. And uh, as crop plots are always going to be full, so they'll never need any water. Awesome. Um, right. Now, the, the other thing is, is that water down there? Well, that's water, yeah. Is that a swamp? I can see a baryonic, so it must be a swampy area. Oh, oh, I can see the water shimmering. Uh-huh. All right. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to go to like the the floating islands of like they look like Pandora uh, from the uh, what is it what's that movie called damn it Jim it's not even that long ago <laughs> absolute sausage uh, oh free me free me but man this is like super wide open now oh, then is it oh dragon uh, we've run out of juice as well let's not Tangle one of them with that. See, the thing is, if you was on foot, then cliffs, like, you've got no chance of getting up there. And there's, like, a super long way to get round before you can get up to that level. Uh, I'll tell you what, buddy. Let's, let's soup you up again. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, hey. Nice little area. Mm-hmm. Obviously, that's water below us. Oh. What's break? Oh, I thought we'd... I thought we'd broke it then. Damage it. No, no, no. I, frames, please. Uh. All right, we're loading back in. We're, we're good. Uh, right, where are we? Fire swamp. Oh. I mean, yeah, I see where I see where you're coming from. They, they, like the trees have got like a, a reddy colour to them. Yeah, let's not land on the water. Don't want to get chucked off. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, keep away from mountains. Home of the wyverns, the crazy ones. Ah, you see, like, I'm thinking this area around here. I like this area. I mean, I like it all. We're all, uh, how far have we come? We're, we're like, literally, we're just around this bit, look. We've just done a, a dart across the land. So, again, when this comes out as official, we don't know what they're going to keep or what they're going to cut down. Obviously, they're going to cut some down. Um, I don't know what. But I have a feeling they're going to keep this. Just like, why wouldn't you? Look at it, it's awesome. Right, so these are these like floating little islands. Uh, I mean, the, the, this would be a good place to like plonk a base down and just have like flies everywhere. That looks like a carrot. Right. Anywhere, anywhere, sort of here.
let's just get off and have a look at ground level because you can't appreciate the beauty unless you're like you're walking amongst the flowers and trees and stuff <gasps> look at it it's beautiful let's turn everything off let's put the number nine there we go right, you wait there donut uh no we won't take that off what is the oh zero sausage right, there we go ha I mean, look at it. Nice little place. Nice little cabin. This is quite nice. I like this area. I mean, this has got potential. We could probably, like, do something here. Let's just check out the area first. Make sure it's not, like, riddled with danger. Oh, well, there's, there's a backdrop there that's going to fall off. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty safe. We are close to an obelisk for transferring and stuff. Like, let's just go a little closer to the obelisk and have a look, see if there's any other potential areas. I'll take it that's river. Yep, I can see the... Just see the shimmer of the water going around the rocks. Oh, mammoth. So it's uh, put back space on. So it looks like it's going to be cold up here. But then again, we've got super armor on, so we're probably not going to feel it as much. Right. it's a bit barren and sparse around here is there anything fancy up here like no there's literally nothing wow kind of barren right let's have a look at this icy bit see i'm not uh um i'm not too adverse about having a not icy base. That could be a thing. There might be some cool caves and stuff. So I wanna I wanna go around and explore the majority of this map so we can do like a comparison between the modded one and then the official one when it pops out into the world. But at the minute I'm just flying around, I've got no idea where I'm going. <laughs> I don't know where's the best place. But uh, yeah, I I am still that's part of the discovery. Uh, let's have back. Oops, oh, sorry. Where are we? H. Tundra Falls. Uh, seven degrees. Uh, I'll look on the map where we are. So we're sort of swooping around. Oh, why did? Why do I hear me? Oh god, sweet! Get Get away, get away! Are you still coming? Yeah, you are, you savage. Right, where are we going? Where are we going, indeed? Um, I mean, we was going around in a big circle. Let's go back over this way. Take the map off. So we can get away from without even doing a swoop, which is good. Oh no, Jim, damn it. <laughs> do we do that? Oh, we've got the clear visor on anyway, so we can see underwater. All right, donut. Oh, you've got rapid speed on as well now, which is going to be, I would say going to be a problem, but no problem at all. Uh, Right, I'll head over this way. Sorry, guys, I'm like, I, I'm not even doing any cuts or anything. I'm just going through because I, I think, like, you know, if I, if I do a cut, I'm going to miss something. Although this this place is pretty bleak. <laughs> it's pretty bleak. Uh, yeah, I don't want it. I don't want it to go on too long. Um, I just want to. Right, I tell you what, I'll take a cut now, and. I'll fly across to... Let's have a look. Let's see if we can go over to... We'll probably... I'll try and find the deserty area. Alright. See you in a bit. Uh, this place looks kind of cool. I like this place. Where are we? So we are... The Great Valley. 
we're right about there somewhere so this like little little place i mean it's got all little roads and going up and down and stuff lots of big trees um all winding around everywhere yeah i mean i just like ooh. i haven't seen any dino oh it says that and then there's a quetzal i'm gonna say i see many dinos around here but they're probably just spawning in as we come in in as well so some of these like wow look at these like a massive root system or something from these trees and they just tore up the chunks of land and lifted it out that was kind of cool all right anyway moving on all right so we're near red obelisk uh just on the edge so there's that uh, forest there a little green bit here like a swampy area uh, then moving across to the desert. Now then, we still got rain. I thought it might have cleared up. Uh, I'll say desert. It's not really, is it? I mean, there's there's literally a river running through. All right, let's go a little bit further across. Where are we on the map? So we're just on the edge of the, the desert area. Oh, we slowed down again now. Oh, that suit makes a difference. Right. I've got some more crafting back on the island, so it just means I've uh, rather than build an ice station over here, I could transfer over. Believe it or not, it's easier to transfer to another server than it is to actually get the items, craft the items, and then wait for the thing to craft. So back on the island, I've uh, set it to craft, say, a like a couple of hundred is that well you say a thousand but by the time you leave uh, you come back there's only a hundred so yeah so we're in the middle of the desert nothing much kicking off out here uh h 35 degrees again we've uh, we've got super armor on so we're not going to feel any weather effects but we do got the desert creatures and stuff out here, which is cool. So for resource-wise and stuff. Uh, again. I won't mind building a base close to the water. That's pretty cool. Alright, what's in this bit here? This looks... Oh, wyverns. Wyverns, excuse me, coming through. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, are they friendly ones? Uh, no, no, I think they are. I think they're on me. I think they're on me. I think this is a, oh, oh, this is a bad place. What? Excuse me, go through. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's where I think they are standard wyverns. It'd help if I put that on, wouldn't it? No, that on. There you go. We'll be able to see what they are then. Should be able to tell if they're modded or not. Let's have a look. What are you? Oh, you're, you just look like a normal standard lightning one. Okay, focus, focus. Focus, focus, please. Yeah, poison one. So it's a 380. It's a normal one. So this is where they sort of live. So maybe not build something too close around here. Uh, where are we on the map? Uh, sort of zigzagging away there are a ton of spaces i've missed i'm just sort of doing a, a quick glance flyby type thing there's lots of cool areas definitely oh is that somebody's base i think there's a little i think if, i think somebody's already started to build here oh uh, uh, <laughs> well they did till till it got demolished hmm yeah, I won't mind something around here. I mean, like, we've got all that. Look at that. You can see all the way down there. That's kind of cool. But also, I want uh, resources. So, I'm looking for a good space with plenty of resources. Obviously, wood, uh, the, the plants, metal nodes, and... Uh, stone and such like i mean there's crystal everywhere obviously but uh i've not seen too much of metal so 
I'm looking for a sweet spot. All right, I'll keep looking. Right there, guys. Um, I kind of like this place. Um, so where are we on the map? We are kind of there. So we, there's blue obelisk over there. Look, that's not too far away. Uh, there is metal. Uh, there's like a lead sickness just f chilling in midair. <laughs> it looks like it's in midair, but this this is water. So let's go in here. Now we've got these oil rocks as well. Uh, there's also metal nodes as well about here somewhere. Is that is that even a yeah? See, so we've got oil. I mean, oil don't really matter anyway because we have uh, we have the pump. We have an oil well thing. <laughs> what do you call them? <laughs> Yeah, we've got a, a pump so we can uh, get his own oil anyway. But there's like, there's plenty of resources around here. All right, uh, metal. I've just seen metal back there as well. He says, I've just, I've literally just gone past it. I thought, oh, that looks like, or did it look like metal? But I do like that area. There's like a, a storm, electrical storm going off over there. I don't want to go over there because it goes all dark and stuff. Right, there's a bit of obsidian on the floor as well. So that's kind of good. Like, we've got wolves. Mm. So yeah, there's obsidian. Have I gone past the metal? Obsidian, oil, stone. Obviously, we've got a few plants. Uh, a few aggressive locals, but... I mean, that's to be expected where all the good resources are. Uh, more oil fields. Oh my god, lots of oil fields. Where's that metal? I've just flown past that metal. I know I have. Oh, don't land it. That's wet. That's wet water. That's where wet water is. Oh. Oh, that's an oil thing so we can place on the ground. So there's lots and lots of oil around here. It's even made the water go funny colour. A little outcrop up here where we could probably put something and more oil like oil literally everywhere uh, i want to be near a, a obelisk for the fact that so if we need to transfer we we can just go zoop, zipping over there i know i've got like a, i've only got one um uh teleporter thing i've only got one of them anyway so I want to, to have the ability to just zip round. I know we can use drops and stuff, but I don't know where they sort of kind of go. Um, some people have managed to, like, build a base around one and stuff, so... But, yeah, you just have to wait for it, that's all. And if I've got stuff to do, it's inconvenient to wait. But, yeah, I mean, this area looks pretty good. Oh, God, we've, we've got into the dark zone. Let's come out of the here. Oh, God. All right, let's... There we go. Back in sunshine again. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Uh, right. Say we've got all these crazy crystals over here. Oh, what's up there? Oh, oh, there's a little loot drop. Oh. Let's have a look at that then. Uh, wow. Great. That's important stuff. God damn it. Uh, you're right, Jim. Yeah, man. Just exploring. <laughs> uh, 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 no, 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 anyway so I'm, I'm kind of thinking this area guys but what the hell was that oh that's broodmother yeah there's a broodmother over there let's not go over that way but uh yeah so i don't know i still don't know i'm in two minds of where to go but uh i don't know like if anybody's got like any suggestions or stuff or you want me to check stuff out Especially if you know the coordinates, because I don't know my way around this map. That that can't help. But yeah, for, so for the moment, I'm I am here. Um, but yeah, so I'm looking for an area with the majority of resources in the area. I mean, this area is pretty good. I did see some metal nodes. I swear, I I've I mean, come past them. I don't know where they are. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is quite good, quite wide open spaces, and it looks absolutely gorgeous as well i mean we've got that thing over there i don't know if that's that's a, a bad place and it's just always storming because it's always raining so i'm guessing that's always going to be stormy over there but uh, i mean area wise 
quite like this. Uh, right. So, I think that's it for this one, guys. Uh, a couple of uh, base locations that we've had a look at. Mm, it's got potential. Uh, th as Well, with the size of the map, we've still got loads to explore. I've sort of glossed over everything, and uh, we've not really looked in every single nook and cranny, so I've probably missed some right sweet spots. But, uh, yeah, for a quick look, um, I'm kind of thinking there. But let me know. Anyway, right, all that's left me to do is to wave. And see you in the next one.